Hello and welcome. Today we'll be doing a question from Leak Code called Minimum Domino Rotations for Equal Row. It is a medium. Let's get started. In a row of dominoes, A of I and B of I represent the top and bottom halves of the ith domino. A domino is a tile with two numbers from 1 to 6, one on each half of the tile. We may rotate the ith domino so that A of I and B of I swap values. Return the minimum number of rotations so that all the values in A are all the same or all the values in B are all the same. And if it can't be done, then we return negative 1. In our first example here, we have 2, 1, 2, 4, 2, 2. And in the bottom row, we have 5, 2, 6, 2, 3, 2. And here we output 2 because we only need to switch the second and fourth domino to make the top row have equal values of 2. And in our second example, we have the top row of 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, and the bottom row of 3, 6, 3, 3, 4. Here we output negative 1 because no matter which dominoes we rotate, we won't be able to get a row of equal values. So how do we go about solving this? Well, if I want a row of all equal values, then every single domino has to have a value in common with every other domino. So I can pick an arbitrary domino. Suppose I pick this first one here. I can then know that every other domino either has to have a two or has to have a five in either their top or their bottom. And if that's not the case, then I return negative one. And that is how I would know if all the values are equal because even if the other dominoes were the exact same, if it didn't match that first domino, I wouldn't be able to form an entire row of equal values. So now that we know how to form an equal row, how do we get the minimum? Well, here I just want to make four checks. One for this top value in the top row, this top value in the bottom row, and this bottom value in the top row, and the bottom value in the bottom row. Because here I can see that I have one, two, three, four twos on the top, and one, two, three twos on the bottom. I can actually disregard this for counting rotations because this is the same value top and bottom. So here I just need one, two rotations to make the top row equal. But if I were to do twos on the bottom, I would need one, two, three rotations to make the bottom row equal. And with five, um, it wouldn't be really possible either way. So once I have my four values from running this, I would then return the minimum number of what I got from my four turns. And for this, I would make a helper function that goes down and just keeps track of how many switches that I have to do. So I have a helper that as I iterate through, I'll be passing in either two or five, either for the top row or the bottom row. I'm just gonna be counting. If the row that I wanna merge into has the value that I wanna match, match is just the value that I'm putting in, here it would be two. And right now, top is A and bottom is B. If it equals my match value, then that's fine, I move on. If it doesn't, at this next index I'm at, then I wanna check, does the bottom value equal that match I'm trying to match? And if it does, then I increment count by one because that's how many rotations I would need to make. Here, counter stays at one, here it becomes two, and then it stays at two until the end. And in case, you know, we can't form an equal row, I'm returning 30,000. Why am I doing that? So actually my video kind of cut this off on the bottom, but there were two notes. One that said that all dominoes have values between one and six inclusive, and that A and B will be bounded by the lengths of two and 20,000. So as long as I have a number greater than 20,000, I'll be fine. I just chose 30,000 because I am taking the minimum out of all my values at the end. And if I know that my minimum stays 30,000, that means none of these four combinations were able to output an equal row, then I will now return negative one. But if that's not the case, then I wanna return my minimum, which is M. So space time and runtime complexity, this will be order O of N. I iterate through A and B a total of four times. So four N is equal to complexity of O of N. And that's a linear and space is just storing that minimum value. So O of one constant space. But can we do better? Can we do better than linear time? It would still be linear, but can we do it in one pass? So here we want to make use of counts. If I want an equal value across all my dominoes in a row, that means I have to have that many values 
in my domino. So what do I mean by that? If I have six dominoes, that means I would need six twos across both A and B to form an equal row. I have one, two, three, four twos up here and one, two, three twos on the bottom. So if I added that up, I would get seven. And we actually want to subtract by one because these two values are the same top and bottom and we don't want to double count because this also checks for, you know, if I had three twos on the top, three twos on the bottom, that would equal to six. But if all the threes were on the same three dominoes, then I wouldn't actually form that entire length of six, which is why I want to count the values in A and B and then subtract by the number of same values. And in the end, if I am able to form the entire length from that summation, I would then return the minimum domino. So what I'm going to do for that is see, did A or B have the maximum value for whatever number I'm checking? In this case, it's two. A has a maximum. So I'm going to subtract the length by that maximum, one, two, three, four, because that's how many dominoes are left that I need to switch into. So I'm going to go ahead and code this up. I'm going to initialize A counts to a list of seven zeros. And why am I doing this? Well, I'm going to be using the indices. So index one equals domino value one because they can only be between one and six. I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six as my keys. You can also use a dictionary for this. I'm just using a list. And I'm going to have a variable called same to see how many same dominoes we come across with the top and value and with the top and bottom value being the same. So I'm going to loop through my A and B once for I in range length of A. And A counts is going to be A of I plus equals one. So in this case, I increment the index two of A counts by one and B counts B of I plus equals one. It's gonna have zeros everywhere else, but at index five where it's gonna have a one. And if A of I and B of I, B of I, are equal, then I'm going to increment same by one. And why is same not a list? Why is this just a variable? Well, if I know the top and bottom values are the same, well, that means this is the only value that will satisfy our entire row being equal. That is the only index we need to worry about, and only one of them will ever satisfy it, which is why I can just have one variable. So after I exit my for loop, I have kept counts of everything, all the possible domino values one to six. I will have a counts equaling one, two, three, four for two, one for one, and one for four. Everything else will be zero. B counts five, six, and three will have a value of one, two will have a value of three, and everything else will be a zero. And the same will be one because we have one domino with the same top and bottom values. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to loop through all my possible domino values, one to six, and see which one of those values meets the condition we talked about earlier. So for i in range 1, 7, because it's exclusive, if a counts of i plus b counts of i minus same equals the length of a, that means we have met our condition. We can form a, we can form a row of all equal values. Well, now what do I want to do is I want to return the minimum number of rotations required because if I'm able to form this, I can form this on either the top or the bottom. So which one gives me my minimum? Return a length of a, length of a minus the max of a counts of i and b counts of i. So in this example right here, we have one, two, three, four, four twos on top and three twos on the bottom. The max is four, and that's the row that I want to merge into, leaving me with only two swaps necessary. And if this doesn't work for any domino value one to six, then I want to return negative one. And something that I want to quickly touch upon is that why am I returning on the first condition that is met? You know, as soon as we hit this if statement, if it's met, we return right away. What if, you know, two values share the same condition? If two and five suppose had, you know, A counts and B counts minus same equaling length of A. So suppose in this scenario, every two had a five opposite to it. 
even this one, like one of these was a five. Then whatever dominoes I would need to switch to make all rows have the value of two, that would be the same number I would have to switch to make the entire row have the value of five. So we can just return as soon as this condition is hit because either way, that's gonna be our value. So I'm gonna run this code. It is accepted, now let's submit. And it is accepted. As always, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.